Uh, it's a frustration, you know, only because uh, we're football players. We just want to play football. You know, uh, we understand, you know, it's, I feel like we all at a, you know, universal contract dispute, you know, with each other. And uh, it's just something that we're not used to, you know. Um, so guys are forced to find other means to work out. This is our home. This is our home. You know, this is where we're used to going and working out. And that's the frustrating part. But it is business, you know. And uh, you know, when, once the business gets settled, then, you know, I'm sure it'll be football as usual. Josh, would it have been nice to at least get the playbook, something you could look at and study so things would resolve? I thought, you know, uh, coming in once the lockout was, you know, uh, lifted, that we would be able to get a playbook and, you know, they could use this time to, you know, give us as much information as possible. Yeah. But, um, you know, unfortunately, they're being instructed not to. Unfortunately, we're not able to, you know, uh, talk to any of the personnel or even, you know, go upstairs to, you know, greet them, you know, because we miss the guys, you know, we know we know that it's not the coaches, we know it's not, you know, the staff that works here at the Browns, but again, they're, they, they're not obligated, they can't speak to us, and, you know, they've been instructed not to because of uh, the attorneys, you know, and everything, the legal situation that's going on, so uh, that's the frustrating part. Have, have you guys been told anything about possibly an appeal, or the lockout could be put back into place in the next 24 hours, is that... Definitely, uh, be, only because uh, it's a different time zone in Minnesota. They're waiting for the, co uh, the, the, uh, the judge's decision. They're waiting for uh, uh, another ruling to uh, take place before they officially allow us to begin you know, workouts. Uh, so that, that's what's going on right now. Uh, it's, it's currently an hour, I think about an hour difference uh, in Minnesota. So uh, when the judge, uh, you know, Here's all of the, her appeals, and here's all of the appeals for the, that the NFL has put in place. Then, uh, we'll, we'll, I'm sure that it'll be another rule. Josh, what, what do you think players throughout the league are accomplishing by showing up at facilities today? Well, we're basically showing that we want to work. We're basically showing that hey, we, we, we're here, we're at work as scheduled. We, um, we want to get back at football. We want to continue to play football, and we're eager to get back on the field. You know, we, uh, we, we're showing that. When the lockout is over, we're going to be here like we're supposed to at work, you know, and to get a job done. That's what, you know, that's what coming today proves.